Um, I was informed that it appears that the DEC Fish and Wildlife Unit will be granting us uh, a permit that essentially gives us exactly what we were looking for. What measure will this permit allow? Um, or you know what I mean, what, uh, what execution uh, method? Uh, the, the, the exact term he used, and he did not go into detail because he didn't feel comfortable in doing so without the issuance, without it yet being uh. fully signed off and issued, was um, netting and euthanizing. And this, and they're able to grant a permit without uh, having to go to the legislature for well, that's, a change in the regulations? You know, that's why they want it to be academically rigorous, because then this is termed a study. Mm -hmm. And once it's a study, it is treated differently under the law, and we are no longer, it's not no longer mm -hmm. a hunt. And one of the firms that I spoke to, um, Truth in Advertising, the only one, because there's not many out there who do any sort of academically rigorous work here, indicated that prior to a call, they would do something called an evening spotlighting run, where apparently they cover most of the village street grid with cars with strong flashlights and count in the evening, one evening where they cover the streets and, and simply count. And apparently that can be quite accurate. Uh, he, he was claiming the accuracy can be as high as 90%. <laughs> so once we get a baseline, you multiply that by points, point 0.7, and we have some idea of what we would have to do. Okay. I used to, when I used to be a hunter years and years ago, it was called spotting. We used to do that. Spotting. That's the word okay. we use. Sorry. There's a whole science of tracking and steering their migration patterns, how they yard up in the wintertime, and I'd like to help whatever, again, with every committee, because I know that material we well. We would welcome that. Yeah. Okay. You can develop sense of herd size and migration, you know, where, they, where they typically walk and the routes they take, and that will also help in the placement of the sites where the bad things will happen. Well, there, there might be some reason to have a survey. I know it's not from a scientific, you know, it's not a scientific metric. It's not, it's not qu really quantifiable when you do it as a survey. Right. But I still think from the point of view of community engagement and their kind of buy-in to this whole process, it might be useful to have a survey before and after. And people can, you know, with questions about their yard damage and how many deer sightings. And That's just, a very good point. You know, personally, I find it both an honor and quite interesting and exciting that we are in this odd role of being a pilot project for the state. You know, it's a, it's, it's a bloody promising development.